A few days ago, this was a bustling residential area. Now there are more police and soldiers than residents as they search debris and soil for victims of this week's earthquake and landslides. Anna. My wife and two children were buried by the landslide. And until now, there is no information about them. Search teams have found items from his home, but there's no sign yet of his family members. I have accepted that my family passed away. It seems impossible they could have survived when there are so many fatalities here. But I won't ever stop searching for them. His house was in one of the isolated areas of Indonesia's West Java province rescuers initially struggled to reach. This is Chijadil village in Tianjur, one of the worst affected areas. Residents say more than 20 houses were buried in the landslide and dozens of their neighbours are still missing. It's where Adinda Fitriani's husband was when the earthquake hit. We were recently married and trying to have a baby, but now I must accept what happened. Crews were able to partially clear some roads, but challenging conditions remain, including rain and aftershocks. Government agencies and humanitarian organizations are trying to get essentials to those in need, particularly in isolated areas. We have trucks to send logistics and personnel to affected areas. We also set up clean water facilities at shelters. Some are collecting goods at distribution centers to share with their neighbors. All of us really need proper tents. Now it is the rainy season and we need shelter, we need medicine, basic foods like rice, eggs, instant noodles, milk and cooking oil. Despite the hardship, there are also moments of relief. Six-year-old Aska was found alive next to the body of his grandmother. For three days, he was trapped under a collapsed wall. The unexpected story of survival is a welcome reprieve for a community going through this together. Jessica Washington, Al Jazeera, Tianjur, Indonesia.